How's it going Phone Lab? It's Root Junkie here and today we have another FRP Bypass video. This is going to be on my Huawei Honor and I think this is a 6X if I remember correctly and um, this should really work on a lot of Huawei devices so and maybe even some other Android devices. It's a method I haven't really seen 100% before so I figured I'd show it to you anyway. So let's go ahead and get into it. You can see we're locked here in FRP and um, we're just going to kind of back out of everything and if it's not letting you, you might need to restart. So let me do that really quickly, just to restart it. I have connected to Wi-Fi already. Obviously, if you've on the, uh, you know, sign into previously synced Google account, you are obviously on um, Wi-Fi or you have a SIM card in, whichever. I prefer to do all my FRP methods without a SIM card in. So take note of that. Generally, I'm using strictly Wi-Fi uh, when I'm doing this. Okay, so once the thing gets back up here and gets onto the welcome screen and the startup screen where you select the language, we're going to start this process. There you go. So what you're going to do from here is just take two fingers and hold down the screen. And you guys have probably seen this. This is how you access talkback settings. And um, if you leave it there for long enough, there you go. And it's going to be a little bit noisy here, but we're going Talk to do some on. things to get it turned down. So make the L on your screen and then talk back, talk, talk back, back settings, tutorial. double tap. Then hit volume up and down Global context menu. and Connected you can suspend to. it. Okay. Talk back suspended. There we go. Now we don't have that anymore and that annoyingness. So from here, we're going to scroll all the way down and we're going to go to feedback. And this is really cool how we're going to escalate here. So we're going to come into here and we're going to do a search for get started with voice access. Okay, and then there's a YouTube video. So just go ahead and click on the YouTube video. And then we're going to click up here and hit share. And then we're going to click these three dots. And this is going to escalate us into the YouTube application, which is, again, pretty sweet. So you can say install later for a new voice version. Access. And then pause this, swipe it down, click over here, and go up to settings, go to about, go to Google pri uh, privacy uh, policies, and uh, this should launch Chrome. So now we're into Chrome, which is awesome. You can say accept, no thanks for signing into your account. And then come up here, and we're just going to go to my website once again, which is where I keep all the applications for everybody to download, which is Root Junkie uh, SDL. And then if you see this, you can go there, or you can click on the FRP folder, because that's where we're going to want to be in anyway. And then if you just scroll down here, we can try a couple different things. The first one we're going to try is we're going to try using Quick Shortcut Maker. Okay? So we're going to hit, oh, uh, go ahead, hit Allow, Chrome Dev Access, hit OK. And this is going to go ahead and open, and then we're going to try to install it. It's going to tell us we have to turn on unknown sources. So we're just going to go in here and do that. Hit OK. Go back. Try to install it again. This time we should be able to install. Quick shortcut maker. You can accept uh, the pop-up there if you get that. And then hit uh, open. And then here we're going to go ahead and we're going to escalate privileges into um, the launcher. So to do that... We're going to go in here, we're going to find Huawei Home, and we're going to go ahead and launch it. So we'll click that and we'll hit try. And now we should be on the home screen. We're going to go ahead and enable these things as well. And then we're going to go into settings. And you're just going to go ahead and look for accounts. And this may work or may not, so we're going to try it here this way first. And then we're going to go to uh, add an account and hit Google. And if it lets you add an account at this point, we're rocking it. If it says this, then we have to try the other method, which is basically going to be going back into Chrome. So once you're in here, just go ahead and try this one, this Moto G. We're going to see if this will let us do a bypass with this application. This application works on tons of devices. So we're going to hit open. You can see I've tried a bunch of them. We're just going to keep going through the process until we get one that will actually function for us. Go ahead and open it. Set up management profile. Do a setup. Go ahead and hit click setup. Say OK. And if it lets you set this up, then if you haven't gotten an error at this point, then it's going to set up a management profile, a work profile. And once that's done, we'll be able to um, just restart the phone. 
and you should be good to go. So let's go ahead and try it. So we're going to do restart. And now that we have a work profile turned on, there shouldn't be any Google account lock that should have finished the process. So generally what you do is once you're into the home home screen, you have access to all the applications and then you can do any kind of installing of apps like Quick Shortcut Maker, um, the FRP root app for Root Junkie. Um, you can use this Moto uh, work profile application and try just whatever you can get your hands on to go ahead and get this done. You might even be able to root the device maybe and use root access. So I'm going to go ahead and open up and we're going to turn back off suspended. talk back again because it's annoying. And the setup did not complete, but let's just go ahead and bounce through it. It should be able to get through it at this point. Agree, allow. Yep, no thanks. Let's see what we get here. Yep, so now you can sign in with any Google account. I'm just going to go ahead and skip it. And just skip all this just to get everything all the way done and there you go it is completely done FRP has been turned off so the escalation method was pretty cool um, like I said depending on your Android version and the security patches that you're on you're gonna have to try different applications to exploit your way into the device but when it comes to Huawei this is a definitely a uh, way to go and uh, try this out on your device and see if this lets you in it might even only might even let you in strictly by you know Settings. getting getting into the home stuff so I'm, I'm gonna turn Double this off and hold to long press. Okay, talk back suspended. If you really want to turn off TalkBack completely, you just want to get into Accessibilities, which is here, and take TalkBack off, and that way it won't come back on again after you restart the phone. So that's, that's the easy way to get TalkBack turned off. So you can see I've got a couple applications in here. Obviously, this one doesn't work, which is a bummer. This one does, and that's what got us in here. So at this point, if you really want to 100% clear off the phone and make sure it's like completely done and you got no issues at all with it you're just gonna come in here and do a factory reset and now this even gives you a, a completely clean slate for this phone and when it's it resets you'll be good to go put in whatever credentials you want you don't even have any other applications running in the background or anything funny going on so guys that's gonna wrap it up here for me the phone is resetting and uh, that's it that's FRP here on Huawei devices. Hope you enjoy it. We'll catch you in the next one. Root Junkie out.